Julia Louis-Dreyfus starred on Seinfeld and Veep, but success didn't always come easy. From overcoming a dreaded sitcom curse to her battle with a serious illness, the multiple Emmy winner fought to earn her status as a comedy icon. Everybody knows Julia Louis-Dreyfus as the quick-witted comedian with a big toothy grin, but she showed a more vulnerable side by beginning an April 2023 episode of her podcast with a touching story about her miscarriage. She said on her Wiser Than Me podcast, when I was about 28, I got pregnant for the first time and I was crazy happy. I got pregnant easily. I felt very fertile, very womanly. She then added, and then, quite late in the pregnancy, my husband Brad and I discovered that this little fetus was not going to live. So that was emotionally devastating, as you can imagine. But it got worse because I developed an infection that landed me in the hospital. The actress said that her mother flew out to be with her while she recuperated. Although the actress was allowed to leave the hospital, she was bedridden and couldn't eat solid foods. Still, with food being so important in her family's traditions, Louis Dreyfus's mother made chili with cornbread baked on top. This was exactly what the actress needed, as Louis Dreyfus remarked, it was the best meal ever, and I didn't even eat it. The making of it was so comforting, it was so embracing. It was understandably a tragic event, but at the very least, she had her husband and mother to look after her, as well as the wonderful smell of her mother's cooking. Gerard William Louis Dreyfus was born in 1932 and was raised in Paris, France. His father worked for the Louis Dreyfus Group, a merchant firm and processor handling agriculture, among other industries. William began his career in law and soon moved over to the family company as chairman. He accumulated a multi-billion dollar fortune in the course of his life and was extremely charitable when it came to the arts. He even opened a gallery with the purpose of supporting important causes and sharing art with the world. Um, he has a great passion for art. William was a father to three daughters. When he died in September 2016 at the age of 84 from complications around his congestive heart failure, Julia made sure to honor him in her Emmy acceptance speech. She told the audience, Lastly, I'd like to dedicate this to my father, William Louis Dreyfus, who passed away on Friday. And I'm so glad that he liked me because his opinion was the one that really mattered. Just one year after her father passed away, Louis Dreyfus shared a post on Twitter that read, one in eight women get breast cancer. Today, I'm the one. She'd been diagnosed with stage two breast cancer and took to the social platform to say that she had caring family and friends to help her through the difficult time. Her Seinfeld co-stars, Jerry Seinfeld and Jason Alexander, also voiced their support when they heard the news. Speaking with People, Louis Dreyfus explained how crucial all of this was for her recovery, specifically mentioning that her husband and two sons never left her side. She told the outlet, it was like they had their hands underneath me, holding me up. Six rounds of chemotherapy, a double mastectomy, and one year later, she was on the other side of it. But the horrible experience left an impression on Louis Dreyfus. In a 2023 episode of her podcast, Wiser Than Me, she said, I had breast cancer a few years back, and when I got the diagnosis, which was so terrifying, but one of my first thoughts was, I don't want to go, I don't want to leave, I do not want to leave. Still, the side effects of chemotherapy are rarely described as anything positive. The Veep star was nauseous, sores appeared on her face and inside of her mouth, her stomach was always unsettled, and she developed neuropathy in her hands and feet. But despite her diagnosis and intensive treatment, she continued to work on Veep. In an interview with Netta Porte, the actress said, We weren't shooting, but I read scripts. The effects of chemotherapy are cumulative, so I definitely felt that more towards the end, but going to work was a very joyful distraction, and I was so pleased to have the strength to do it. Speaking with a New Yorker in 2018, Louis Dreyfus described the side effects of chemotherapy as debilitating. She added that even a year after her diagnosis, her hair had been blasted by chemotherapy and was still growing out. Thankfully, she was able to keep her support network nearby while she underwent treatment. In her acceptance speech for the Mark Twain Prize for American Humor, she said, when I was getting my hideous chemotherapy, I'd cram a bunch of friends and family into the tiny treatment room with me. She added that laughter is the best medicine, so her friends and family were cracking jokes the entire time. It helped me get through chemotherapy and, and in a big way. After a harrowing couple of years, first with the loss of her father and then with her breast cancer diagnosis, Louis Dreyfus had experienced enough loss and hardship for a lifetime. But then in August 2018, she received even more awful news. Her youngest sister, Emma, suffered a seizure on a camping trip in the Sierra Nevada mountain range in California and died. Louis Dreyfus had only just returned to working on her television show after obtaining the status of cancer-free when the tragedy took place. As she told The New Yorker, it was out of the blue. 
A report determined that Louis Dreyfus's sister, who was only 44, died with a combination of alcohol and cocaine in her system, which triggered her seizure. However, her death was ultimately ruled accidental. The actress had yet to comment publicly about her sister's death before her interview with The New Yorker. One tabloid even claimed that this was on account of the sisters being estranged. This led Louis Dreyfus to say, Given the fact that that heinous sh came out, I would simply say I've kept this under wraps out of reverence for my dearest Emma. It's been a very bad period of time. Fans of Seinfeld or Larry David's other hit, Curb Your Enthusiasm, probably know all about the supposed Seinfeld curse. This pop culture phenomenon refers to the difficulty actors of the hit sitcom had in finding successful roles after the show ended in 1998. For example, Jason Alexander starred in a handful of shows in the early 2000s, but none were very successful. Michael Richards and Jerry Seinfeld faced similar issues for many years, as did Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Some would hypothesize that the actors on Seinfeld would only ever be seen as their characters. Get out! <laughs> But the difference is that Louis Dreyfus managed to climb her way out of the Seinfeld curse after some trial and error. In 2002, she and her husband Brad Hall collaborated on an NBC show called Watching Ellie. However, the show was canceled after only two seasons. Louis Dreyfus then lent her voice to a handful of animated shows like The Fairly Odd Parents and The Simpsons. She also guest starred on a few sitcoms. Then, in 2006, she gave sitcom acting another go with The New Adventures of Old Christine. The reception was stronger, and the sitcom lasted for five seasons. It wasn't until Veep that Louis Dreyfus hit her stride with another smash hit. Did the president call? No. No. So did the president call? No. Over the years, many celebrities have opened up about how they've navigated postpartum depression, including Louis Dreyfus. She spoke about her experience in 2020 on Gwyneth Paltrow's The Goop podcast, saying, I think also, actually, I suffered from some postpartum after both pregnancies, and that was, well, I don't think, I did. But nobody was calling it that then, so I just thought, oh shit, I'm losing my mind. She then added, I just remember it was terrifying. It really was scary because there was this feeling like I should not have had children. And that is terrifying after you've given birth. It's not a good feeling. In March 2023, the actress bragged to people about her two sons, Henry and Charlie, who both took after their parents and are now actors. She told the outlet, my son Henry just finished shooting a series for Amazon, and Charlie's in all sorts of shows. Single drunk female, sex lives of college girls, and so on. The fact that my children are able to pull that off gives me endless joy. Now that she's on the other side of it, Louis Dreyfus can relish in her children's success knowing it was all worthwhile. Today, Louis Dreyfus owns any room she walks into. But back in the day, she had to fight hard to be taken seriously as a woman in the world of comedy. During her time on Saturday Night Live when she was only 21, Louis Dreyfus realized the force she was up against. In an interview with Vanity Fair, she said, I had no idea about this business of show. It was a very male-dominated, male-centric environment there, in addition to the fact that everybody was completely high on any drug that they could get their hands on, and I had no idea. I learned quick. It was not exactly what I thought it was going to be. When she eventually moved on to Seinfeld, Louis Dreyfus battled writers to build her character more. In an extra scene in a 2006 documentary about the show, she said, I didn't think I was getting enough really meaty comedy stuff. I had stuff, but it wasn't like the really funny stuff. Having pushed boundaries so early on, Louis Dreyfus is now seen as a trailblazer and comedic icon today. As she told Time Magazine in 2019, I can honestly say that I have a ton of experience when it comes to making entertainment. So I think I have, I don't think, I have a lot to add. If you or someone you know needs help with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.